we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Ruvutsu village in the far north of Japan's northernmost island is the nation's richest village, thanks to a bounty of scallops pulled from the sea of Okotsk. The scallop fishing overseen by the Hokkaido Federation of Fisheries Cooperative Association in Japan gained certification for meeting the global standard for sustainable and well-managed fisheries set by the Marine Stewardship Council. Hokkaido scallop fishery was first started in the 1800s in the Okotsk Sea, and expanded further in the early 1900s through the introduction of fishing machines, until its annual catch reached 80,000 metric tons. Catch has been plummeted to 6,000 metric tons by 1955 due to indiscriminate fishing, but the fishery recovered to annual landings of 70,000 metric tons by 1975 with the introduction of new seed production equipment and a modified cultivation process. The scallops from the nearby waters are dried and then mostly exported to Hong Kong and elsewhere as a premium ingredient in Chinese food. Scallop aquaculture is the commercial activity of cultivating, farming, scallops until they reach a marketable size and can be sold as a consumer product. Wild juvenile scallops, or spat, were collected for growing in Japan as early as 1934. The first attempts to fully cultivate scallops in farm environments were not recorded until the 1950s and 1960s. Traditionally, fishing for wild scallops has been the preferred practice, since farming can be expensive. However worldwide declines in wild scallop populations have resulted in the growth of aquaculture. Locally the scallop aquaculture industry is now well established, with a recorded annual production totaling over 1,200,000 metric tons from about 12 species. China and Japan account for about 90% of the reported production. The trawler was a massive battered metal looming high above our little boat, a great bucket of rust on the bright blue sea. For two days last July we watched it plow up and down a shallow patch in shore. They had taken all the scallops and ruined the cod banks decades ago. But here it was, a Clyde registered scallop boat. Over its high sides hung a mesh of old iron rings, spikes and chains, starfish, sea urchins and broken crabs tangled among them. 